Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. This is today's question. Seems interesting, especially we see there is a 128 which is 2 power 7 and there is a 512 which is 2 power 9. Do not use partial fractions because it is too tedious and not possible to be done by hand calculations. Also, we can generalize the answer of this question to other questions in similar format. Let's try to simplify the integrand. For numerator, we factor 128 and then multiply with 1 minus x power 7 divided by 1 to a, which is 2 power 7. For denominator, we factor our 512 and then multiply with x power 9 divided by 512, which is 2 power 9, and then plus 1. Define u equals to x divided by 2, therefore x equals to u divided by 2 dx equals to 1 over 2 multiplied du x equals to 0, u equals to 0 as well x goes to infinity, u goes to infinity from here we obtain new q equals to 1 over 4 integral 0 to infinity numerator is 1 minus u power 7 while denominator is u power 9 plus 1 and then multiply du divided by 2 we bring the divide by 2 to be the constant in front which is 1 over a Label it as equation 1. Now we use inverting variable strategy. u change to u power negative 1. Therefore, du become negative u power negative 2. Why? Because differential of u power negative 1 is negative u power negative 2. Infinity becomes 0 and 0 becomes infinity. From here, we obtain new q equals to 1 over a, integral infinity to 0, numerator is 1 minus u power negative 7, denominator is u power negative 9 plus 1, and then multiply negative u power negative 2 du. Of course, we can cancel the negative by swapping the integration bound. Also, we include a new term which is u power 9 divided by u power 9. Now we have q equals to 1 over a integral 0 to infinity. Oops, that is the infinity, not the a. Sorry. Numerator is u power 7 minus 1. Denominator is 1 plus u power 9. Of course, du. Label it as equation 2. We can see that equation 1 and equation 2 having the same integration bound, same denominator and same constant in front. Therefore, we can apply equation 1 plus equation 2. At the numerator, we have 1 minus u power 7 plus u power 7 minus 1 which is give us 2q equal to 0. Actually, not just for this question but other questions in the similar pattern are equals to 0 too. Conclusion of this video, Integral 0 to infinity, numerator is 1 minus u power n, denominator is u power n plus 2 and then plus 1, du, is equal to 0 where n is positive real number. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please continue support, subscribe, give a like and share my video with others. See you tomorrow for another video. Bye bye.